Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 296. The very first problem in the data, data analysis exercises. Number one. It says the daily temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit for 10 days were, and we're given the 10 temperatures right here, the daily temperatures for 10 days are given as follows. Our first, our first job is to figure out the mean, the average. Now listen, there are two ways you can go about figuring out the mean, the average. One way, one route is the traditional route where you simply add up the all the numbers and divide by however many numbers you have. Even with the calculator sometimes, and particularly actually with the calculator, especially the stupid calculator that they give you on the screen, it takes time to punch in 10 numbers one by one individually and make it, making sure that you don't make a mistake in punching in numbers. I like to estimate it. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. If you like what I have to do or what I'm doing here, you can, you, can, you can learn to do this thing yourself. If you don't like it, just ignore it and do the traditional method where you just add up 10, 10 numbers and divide by 10. Uh, but here's here what it is. I have a whole bunch of numbers here. I see 61, 62, 3 or 65 and then 60 and then some in the 70s. I'm going to pretend that the average of these 10 numbers is 65. Why 65? Don't ask me why. I'm just, I, I feel like 65. I have this gut feeling that it's going to be somewhere around 65. We'll find out if I turn out to be right or wrong. Okay, so here's, here's, here's what, so what question that we are asking ourselves is that, you see, if we had 10 numbers, if we are given 10 numbers, and if every one of those numbers were 65 exactly, then of course the average of 10 numbers where every one of them is 65 is 65. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to force every, every one of these numbers to be 65. We're going to do the adjustment. So here we go. 61 is 4 less than 65. This one is 3 less than, this is exactly 65, 65, 65, this is 3 more, 65, this is 9 more, this is 9 more, this is exactly 10 more, and 65, 77, it's 12 more. So, keep listening, okay, watch what happens. I see a negative 4, a negative 3, oh here I see negative 3 and positive 3, so they cancel out. I see a negative 4 and a positive 9 here. Let's cancel out this negative 4 and this becomes positive 5. In other words, I took out negative 4 from here. So it turns out that I was wrong. It turns out that we were wrong because we have a whole bunch of numbers left over. Let's see what we have left over here. I see a 12 here. If I were to give the 1 to this guy, it becomes 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 30 30. And this becomes 11. 31. 31 plus 5 is 36. You see, it's just, it doesn't take that long to add up these numbers. It's just 36. So it turns out that we were wrong. The average is... It turns out that, the, the, that we were wrong. The average is not 65. It turns out that we were wrong. The average is not 65. It's not 65 because we have a surplus of 36 points. We have a surplus of 36 points which we need to spread which we need to spread over 10 days. Therefore, therefore the actual average equals the 65 that we pretended plus this this 36 extra points that we have spread over spread over 10 readings that's it we're done 36 divided by 10 is very easy it's 3.6 so 3.6 plus 65 the overall average is 68.6 that's it that's your average now if you're still asking why did I say pretend 65 
I really don't know. If you like, we can do it again. This time we can pretend that the average is 70. You just eyeball it. You eyeball it and you make a gut feeling. You arrive at your gut feeling as to what you suppose the average might be in the, in the, in the ballpark figure. Once in a while you get lucky. Once in a while you get lucky and you just hit the bullseye right on the uh, right by gut feeling. You will see tomorrow in the question number two when I was doing it, I pretended, again, I just pretended out of the blue that the overall average was whatever the hell it was that I pretended. I think it was 30. And I did the same thing that we did here. And turns out that 30 was in fact the average. But if it, if, it, if it doesn't turn out to be the bullseye, it's not a big deal. You just make the adjustment. I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to do it again without any explanation, without any writing, so that it doesn't take this long, so that you can see the real time as to what happens. See how long it takes, okay? So here, are the, here are the, that's it. We've done this part. I'm going to explain it one more time very quickly as to what happened. I see a whole bunch of numbers here. I see in the low 60s, in the mid 70s, and then a little bit of a high, one, one in the high 70s. So I pretended the average is going to be somewhere in the middle, around 65. Okay, so now we have to make every one of them 65. This guy is 4 short, this guy is 3 short, this is right bullseye 0, 0, 0. This is 3 more, this is 9 more, 9 more, 10 more, and 12 more. And then you start cancelling. I see a negative 3 and I see a positive 3. So they cancel out. This negative 3 takes, takes out this guy. And then this negative 4 takes out this negative positive 9 and becomes positive 5. And you just add them up. This is 9, I'm going to pretend it is 10 by making it 11. I'm going to pretend that this is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, 20 plus 20 is 30, 20 plus 10 is 30, 31, 31 and 5 is 36. So now we've got to spread this 36 over 10 days, which is 3.6, and the 65 that we started out with. So 65 plus 3.6 is the 68.6. Let's do it again. This time, as I said, I'm not going to explain anything, I'm just going to do it, so that you can see in real time how long it takes. Time, time me if you like. This was a 74, I have to rewrite it. This was a 74. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it turns out fine, sometimes it does not. If it doesn't, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to pretend it's seven, it, it, the overall average is 70. So this is 9 short, this is 8 short, this is 5 short, a 5 short, a 5 short, this is a 2 short. See, this is what happens, you have to pay attention. This guy is 2 short, this is 4 surplus, surplus of 4, a surplus of 10, and a surplus of... You see, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'm you're pretending the average is 70, not, not 65. This is 10 more, and this is 7 more. But perhaps if I stop talking, I can concentrate here. So that's it. This is based on the assumption that the average is 70. I'm going to check it very much. 1, 8, 2, 4, 4, 5, 4. I did it again. This should be plus 5. It's a 70 and a 7. Okay, there we go. That's it. So I see, I see a negative 9, let me get this uh, different colors ready so you can see it in different colors. I see a negative 9, a negative 9 and let's not think too much here. I see negative 5 and a negative 2, so that takes out, takes out this, this 7. I see a negative 5, I see a negative 5 and a positive 5, that takes out that guy. I see a positive 8 and positive 8 and negative 8. This guy and this guy and this guy. That take, takes care of that. That's it. I think we're done. That's it. That's all there is. Which means, which tells us the average was not 70. That implies that the actual average, the actual average, I'm just going to first say it before, before I actually write it. The actual average is going to be the 70 that I pretended minus, you see we have a 14. This is a negative, uh, we have a deficit of 14. 14 spread over 10, it is 70 minus 1.4. Of course, that is 70 minus 1 is 70 minus 1 is 69, 79, 70, 70 minus 1.4 is going to be 68.6. Same as before. That's all it is. The actual average is not 70. It is actually, it is actually. 70 minus the deficit of 14 we see here, right here, minus 14 over 10, which is the work that I just showed you right here. It's 68.6. So that's your average. Let's go on then. Enough of that. Because for some reason, 
because for some reason I don't have the patience to sit there and add up all these 10 numbers individually either manually or on calculator it takes too long and, I, and you, in, and you uh, uh, inevitably end up making uh, punching in uh, something wrong and it makes a big difference the next question is what's the median? well median is very straightforward since, since we have since we have uh, 10 observations, had we had 11 observations, the median would have been right in the middle. Since we have 10 observations, the median is going to be the average of these two numbers. Median is going to be the average of the fifth observation and sixth observation. Median is the average of Median is going to be the average of these two observations, 65 and, 65 and 68, we have a spread of 3, we have to spread the difference of 3 over 2, see the difference is 3, this is 65, this is 68. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 3 away from this guy, making both of them 65, I got a spread of 3, I got a spread of 3 that I have to divide over the 2, which means this, the median is 65 plus 1.5, or 66.5, that's our median. So that's the second question. The mode, of course, is the most commonly occurring number, which in this case is just 65. The range is simply the highest number that we have in, 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 the, in the list, and since this is all arranged in order already, the highest is 77 minus the lowest, the minimum, which is 61. And that gives us 77 minus 60 would have been 17, so it's going to be 16. So that's the, that's, that's the end of that part. So that takes care of part, part A. Let's go to part B then. That's it, the range is 16. In part B they say what would have happened if each day is 7 degree warmer. Well, if each day is going to be 7 degree warmer then every single number that we see here, every single one of them will have 7 more. Every single one of them, that's what it means to be, to be 7 degree warmer. And if every single one of them is seven more, what do you suppose will happen to the mean? It's just going to have whatever it was before, it's going to be seven more than that. The new mean, the mean would simply be seven more than before. Whatever it was before, it was going to be seven more. So it's going to be 68.6 .6 plus 7, whatever that works out to be. The median, what's going to happen to the median? It's going to, is the median going to change? Of course the median is going to change. Median, is, median was the average of these two numbers before, 65 and 68. Now it's going to be the average of 65 plus 7 and 68 plus 7. Since they are both going up by 7, median will remain the same. Oh, sorry, not the remain the same, rather median will have the same effect. Median will have the same effect. It's going to be 66, 66 and a half plus 7. 66 and a half plus 7. What about the mode? Mode, now the most commonly occurring, most commonly occurring observations are these three, same as before. The mode does not change except every one of them is 7 more. 65, 65 plus 7, 65 plus 7, 65 plus 1. That's your mode. In other words, in other words, the mean, the median, the mode, they all go by, say, by the same amount. They all change by the same amount. What about the range? What about the range? Range is maximum minus the minimum. But the maximum now, the maximum now is 77 plus 7 
the minimum now is 61 plus 7. What do you suppose is going to happen? Nothing is going to happen to the range. The range will still be the same. The difference between the maximum, the difference between the highest number and the lowest number will remain the same as before. That difference will not change because they are both going up by the same amount. The maximum observation is going up by 7 and so is the minimum. As you can clearly see here, this is how we will show mathematically. So here you will have 77 plus 7 and you open the parentheses, you get negative 61 and negative 7. Positive 7 and negative 7 will cancel out and the range will remain the same. The range will remain the same. Range will remain the same. That's it. Is there anything else in this problem? That's it. This was a very straightforward, simple problem, easy problem because of number one. All right. What I want you to do for tomorrow, what I want you to do for tomorrow is to do the problem number two ahead of time yourself and do the average like, like the way we did it together today and see what, what happens on your own. Okay, don't do it manually, either even with the calculator, don't do it in a traditional method. Do, do out the average, look at the numbers and ask yourself, what does your gut feeling tell you where the average is going to be? Pretend a number, like I already gave it away, I pretended the average was 30. Why don't you try on your own, try the, try, pretend that the average is 28 or 31 or 32 and see what happens. Because 30 is the average, I, I already gave it away, so don't do 30 obviously. And do the adjustment, you will see. Do you understand? So I'll see you tomorrow, okay? But make sure you do the problem ahead of time before watching the video. Bye now.